for parks on a year, what would you recommend, the FT710 or the FT891? Well, the FT710, that is a hot rig. And, um, you know, what I always say is every rig that's got a handle is a portable rig. Mm -hmm. So, and -hmm. it's got a handle. Well, they, I, I would I would say this: if you can afford the seven ten, take the seven ten. Well, the okay. seven ten isn't that bad of. It's like what are the over the holidays they were going for what seven ninety nine? Uh so. let me just take a look at Hammer field and see what yeah, they say. The, the field edition. Uh, so yeah, so the FT seven ten AESS is going for nine seventy nine. Um. And I oh, think God, the eight eight ninety one is going to be six seventy nine. Yep. Uh, yeah, and I think the field is a little less expensive. Yeah, the field doesn't include the speaker, but it includes like a shoulder strap, so you can carry it. Um, you need a shoulder strap. Yeah, the you know, FT seven ten uh, eight ninety nine. Yeah. So you know, I would say if you can afford. Uh, yeah, if you can afford the difference in price, which is only a couple hundred bucks. Get the seven ten. I I know a lot of a lot of people go out with their um, you know their nine ninety one A's and the mm -hmm. seven and that's the seven tens no bigger than the nine ninety one A, dimension wise. It's, right. it's and it's a it's a hot rig. I mean it's it's got one of the best receive receivers out on the all market SDR. right now. Yeah. All S you know all STR hundred percent SDR. Um, a lot of people take their 7300s out for POTA, and the 710, I think, is, is a little, is maybe slightly smaller yeah. than, a, than a 7300. Yes, so, yeah, I so. Yeah, so, no, yeah, I, I don't think there's any reason. The only reason why you wouldn't want to bring it out is because you want to, you know, you want to baby the rig. <laughs> right. Yeah, I still I still take out my eight ninety seven, mm -hmm. okay, and that's a kind of a that's a little bit of a chunky rig, right? Yeah, it's not it's yeah. not a mobile rig like the eight ninety one or eight fifty seven or some of those other ones. There's a little bit of chunk into the eight ninety seven. She's mm -hmm. she's mm -hmm. got hips. I'm not gonna lie. I like well, a lady with a little bit of hips. You know, yeah. it's, you know, I, I like that. I mean, the eight ninety seven is a great radio. Um, I yeah, now, but I the downfall the downfall of the 710 versus this 891 is that the 710 is going to use more power yes and the 891 is, is, the is you know and people complain about the 891 being a little bit of a power hog um yeah but the 710 is going to be a little bit a little bit more because you know it, it's there's it's running a lot of stuff in the background you know the processor's beefier it's got a it's got a it's got a, a full color display it's it, etc so right that that would be a consideration uh i like my 891 i love taking it out in the field because it's so compact i can um set it on the dashboard of the car i can set it on a little bitty mm -hmm. a little bitty table you know when we're out camping it's it's super portable so it's um uh, yeah yeah uh, now the 891 doesn't have a tuner and no it doesn't it, unless you're using like um tuned uh uh, tune dipole, or if you're using mm -hmm. a, um, a vertical, a tuner is really handy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the 891. Yeah, Scotch is might be considered a little more roadworthy, and I would absolutely agree with that. Um, with the 891, you know, it's because it is in a it, a smaller form factor than the than the 710. Uh, I think the know, other thing too. Um, Look at the display in the sun. Yeah, you can read. You can read the eight ninety one display or the eight ninety one display. You can read in the sun. I would mm -hmm. question because I had a nine ninety one, and that was a bugger to read in the outside of this in direct sunlight. Hmm. Okay. So, just so that might. That. Yeah, that might be a concern then. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. But yeah, it's uh, so. I guess it's. I guess you know the final. The final answer is it's. It's up to you. You know. There's no reason why you can't bring your 710 out as a as a portable rig. It's no bigger than the 7300. It's no bigger than the 991A, and a lot of people love those as mm -hmm. um, for POTA rigs. So mm -hmm. it's going to be right at home at that. Um, I, I think the only advantage of the 891 would be um, 
just a little bit less power consumption, uh, smaller form factor, so it's going to be easier to easier to tote around. But um, it's hey, going to be. People used to drag out helicopters off for field day. Okay. <laughs> I saw a video of a guy doing a, a park with a, a tube rig, and he had a he had a oh generator he had a generator running to get. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's dedication right there. <laughs> it reminds me of those old pictures of our club field day from the fifties with the oh. the army surplus generator to keep those. Yeah, yes. to keep those those power hungry rigs alive. <laughs> I, so I I have read through some of the notes from like the the field days from the 30s and the 50s. Uh, at one point in time, the club was um, I think they had a Helicrafters HT9 transmitter, which weighs like 130 pounds. Hmm. That's just their transmitter, and then they'd have to have something for a receiver. Yep. Which probably weighed another 50 or 60 pounds. And then they'd have to get power for it. Holy smokes. That's insane. Yeah. Well, they had that big generator on a trailer. It was Army Surplus. So mm -hmm. 15 kW or some insane number. It's uh, Yeah. And I guess it was, the old timer said it was noisier than all get out. Oh, I'm sure it was. <laughs> and you have to park it a quarter mile away. <laughs> oh, so uh, Doug's going to no go voltage for the, drop. <laughs> no voltage drop. Doug's going for the seven ten. So I think I think you'll yeah. be happy with that. So right, I, and the receive <laughs> on the seven ten is just insane. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's, like, it's some one of the best receivers out there right now. So. Well, Travis Travis takes his ten D out to the mm -hmm. national forest, and it says it's like. You can, yeah, you you can you can hear the world. So yeah, that thing will hear a mouse fart in China. Mm -hmm. Pretty much, pretty much. So KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.